2018 Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace Review. Pros. Good practicality. Wide selection of engines. Doesn't appear like a seven-seat car. Nice to operate a vehicle. Excellent standard kit. Cons. Cramped third row of seats. Some cheap interior plastics. Noisy diesel engines. Pricey when compared to the Skoda Kodiak. Volkswagen has produced on the success on the 5-seat Tiggin using this larger, 7-seat brother known as the Tiggin Allspace. In doing so, the German brand has moved into the 7-seat SUV market, rivaling established contenders such as Hyundai Santa Fe, Nissan Strail and Skoda Kodiak. Compared towards the 5-seat Tiggin, the Allspace receives a 109mm stretch between your front and rear axle lines, and it is longer overall by 215mm. This means there's room for one more pair of seats within the extended boot. The headlines are the luggage area may be expanded to 700 liters together with the front two rows of seats available, expanding nearly 1,775 liters with all the final two rows folded down. The standard Tiggin offers 615 and 1,655 liters respectively. There's also 60 millimeters more legroom for passengers behind top seats. So during 5-seater mode the Allspace is often a roomier vehicle as opposed to standard Tiggin. Extra bulk has become successfully disguised. The Tiggin Allspace could be bigger, nevertheless it doesn't look it. Even the entry-level version rides on 17-inch wheels, and a few clever styling tricks have been employed. So, it provides a different bonnet line side window shapes and also a new pair of headlamps. You may also specify it in Fox off-road form. The Tiggin Allspace outdoor pack gets you chunky restyled bumpers, and further protection within the underside with the car. Given that it's provided by optional all-wheel drive, it'll at least support those hunky looks by incorporating genuine ability. And actually, VW is predicting the reason is 4 motion 4 wheel drive system will feature on what's projected to become the most widely used model the 2.0 liter TDI 150 horsepower Sane Nav 6 speed manual. A wide array of engines and tech. The Tiggin Allspace are given with 2 TSI petrol and 3 TDI diesel engines which range from 150 horsepower to 240 horsepower. The two petrol engines are turbocharged, and are given in 150 and 180 horsepower forms, whilst the three turbozels develop 150, 190 and 240 horsepower. All are Euro 6 compliant, using the diesels needing add blue. Model designations start at the higher level as opposed to 5-seat Tiggin and incorporate a nav, cell and also the sporty reliant trim. Regardless of trim, each Tiggin Allspace include three's own climate control, adaptive cruise control, Satnav and Apple CarPlay Android Auto compatibility. Standard safety equipment includes Automatic post collision braking system car holds brakes on after a collision. Lane assist. Front assist with city emergency braking function. Pedestrian monitoring. What's the VW Tiggin all space like to push? We've stood a chance to sample two 2.0 liter TDI diesels until now one with 150 horsepower plus the other with twin turbochargers, making 240 horsepower. VW is expecting roughly 95% of all spaces for being diesel. The former diesel engine, coupled using the manual gearbox, is set to get the best selling inside the UK. It's a fine unit but one that might do with being considerably less noisy. 
We couldn't really identify the difference in refinement between this engine inside Skoda Kodiak and Volkswagen Tiguan Allspace, rapidly substantial price difference relating to the two. We enjoyed the 240 horsepower diesel, which feels far punchier drive an automobile, as you ought to expect with so much extra performance. It's a much bigger expensive compared to base 150 horsepower engine, however, and just available on top spec trims too. How regarding the handling? There's why not a very slight difference within the all spaces handling any additional distance between front and back axles means it feels more solid and composed, particularly if negotiating mid corner bumps. We've tried models with and without adaptive suspension fitted, and note which the latter handles sharp ruts and potholes inside the road with greater composure. Good practicality, yet not as spacious since the Kodiak. The extra length has taken about greater boot space and a couple of extra seats from the Tiggin Allspace, however it's still too few to compete together with the cheaper Skoda Kodiak that the Volkswagen is heavily linked to. For example, the last row of seats isn't quite as spacious inside the Tiggin Allspace they're wholly unsuitable for everyone over 5 apostrophe 2 along with the luggage capacity effortlessly 7 seats available also falls behind. The verdict. For those seeking a mid-sized 7-seat SUV, the Tiggin Allspace can be an interesting proposition. Its looks belie its additional practicality, as well as in many ways, it is just a great choice for those who here is a 7-seater that doesn't seem like an, er, 7-seater. However, its biggest problem emanates from in-house. The Skoda Kodiak might be more practical and significantly cheaper, yet isn't noticeably inferior drive an automobile nor would it feel cheaply made. If you like the Tiggin but require a little more space, the Allspace is definitely an accomplished car. However, the Kodiak remains to be the best 7-seater with this class. Two petrol engines and three diesels. No hybrids or pure electric models. Choice of manual or DSG automatic gearbox. The Volkswagen Tiggins engine range includes two petrols and three diesels, provided with a range of manual or DSG automatic gearboxes and two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive. Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace Petrol Engines the base 1.4-liter TSI petrol engine from the Tiggin Allspace produces 150 horsepower and 250 newton meters of torque, giving a 062 miles per hour period of 9.5 seconds and top speed of 124 miles per hour, 123 miles per hour in DSG auto form. If you fancy a much more punch on the expense of fuel economy. The two main 0 liter TSI engine creates a chunky 180 horsepower and 320 newton meters of torque. Enough for just a 062 miles per hour period of 8.2 seconds along with a top speed of 129 miles per hour, Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace diesel engines. Blending excellent fuel economy as well as a reasonable turn of speed. The Camp 2.0 liter TDI diesel engine boasts 150 horsepower and 340 newton meters of torque. That means it's good for just a 062 miles per hour duration of 9.8 seconds and also a top speed of 126 miles per hour, 124 miles per hour with DSG Auto. Most Tiggin Allspace drivers go for this engine and it's not difficult to see why. There's little difference in solid world pace when compared to the pokier 190 horsepower diesel engine, as the healthy quantities of torque being offered are well worthy of a large SUV. The 190 horsepower 2.0 liter diesel engine produces 400 newton meters of torque and accelerates from 062 miles per hour in 8.6 seconds. Top speed is 130 miles per hour. Finally, 
when you're following your most powerful Tigan Allspace on the market. The 240 horsepower 2.0 liter by TDI engine provides hot hatch quantities of performance from Volkswagen's big SUV. The sprint from 06 to miles per hour takes just 6.7 seconds, while top speed is 142 miles per hour. Torque is rated in a substantial 500 newton meters. Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace Gearbox Options Customers have a very choice coming from a 6-speed manual gearbox as well as a 7-speed DSG automatic inside the Tiggin Allspace. The former is a useful one to use and it has a relatively short, slick action that means it is easy to change over the gears. Meanwhile, the DSG automatic is smooth but could be hesitant particularly when pulling away sharply from the standstill. Moving the tools selector into sport helps alleviate this but they can harm fuel economy. Safe and predictable handling. Surprisingly maneuverable. Capable tow car. As you'd expect, all TIG and all spaces handle within a broadly similar manner on the regular TIG and that means high amounts of grip and predictably when cornering, but little from the way of excitement. All four motion all-wheel drive models come as standard with Volkswagen's driver profile selection allowing anyone to cycle through four different drive modes, Eco, Comfort, Normal and Sport. Each individual mode tweaks throttle response, steering weight, gearbox settings and on cars fitted with dynamic chassis control DCC, how firm the suspension is. Reliant models consist of sports suspension firmer, and lowered by 15mm as standard but we've yet to utilize these versions inside UK. Safe and stable, with plenty grip. Driven at the normal pace the Tiggin Allspace inspires an abundance of confidence providing bags of grip and traction with surprising quantities of maneuverability for this type of big car. We'd advise against getting too overexcited, mind, concerning all its grip and stability there's still noticeable levels of body roll if the body with the car leans out from the corner when you push your vehicle hard through bends. Turning right into a tight bend yields excellent positivity from your steering wheel, even if degrees of overall feedback miss. The steering also feels too light at speed, an issue that can be remedied together with this sport mode inside driver profile selection. Excellent urban credentials. Taking a 7-seat SUV to the city is sufficient to give many drivers sweaty palms, however the Tiggin Allspace hides its size well. Its turning circle and general degrees of agility take par with smaller cars plus all-round visibility is surprisingly strong. Because with this, parking the Tiggin Allspace in tight spots is fairly easy with standard fit all-round parking sensors also providing you that extra amount of guidance. Is it worthwhile off-road? We've not driven the Tiggin Allspace about the rough stuff yet, but previous experience with all the regular Tiggin suggests its bigger cousin also are more than competent at climbing a steep, craggy path or traversing a muddy field, providing it's fitted with 4 motion all-wheel drive. All such models have four different settings with the all-wheel drive system, on-road, off-road, off-road, individual and snow. The optional outdoor pack can be available in case you intend to provide your Tiggin Allspace a much more rugged look, and includes an off-road front bumper, off-road chrome door sill protectors and further front underbody protection. The front underbody guard is additionally available as being a cost option while offering extra engine and transmission underbody protection. Capable tow car the Tiggin Allspace might be fitted with a fixed or detachable tow bar, while using maximum braked towing weight for both the .0 liter TDI 154 motion model set at 2,400 kg. This increases to 2,500 kg in case you opt for both the .0 liter by TDI 244 motion version. Easy tow just, high up driving position. 
good overall control layout, with exceptions. 8.0 Color Touch Screen provides standard. With a clean, quality feeling albeit fairly drab design the Tiggin Allspace's interior is the standard Volkswagen fare, irrespective of which spec you opt for. High Up Driving Position All drivers can get comfortable from the Tiggin Allspace with little or no trouble. There's an abundance of adjustment from the seat and controls, all centering across the standard high up SUV driving position. No matter where you add the seat and wheel, however, the gear stick manual or DSG auto and handbrake will almost always be within easy reach. The view from all angles is surprisingly good for the car in this size, with smaller than average blind spots, especially across the rear three quarters from the car. Reasonable control layout. Switches for functions like the climate control, drive modes, windscreen wipers and headlights are common laid out where you'd expect, so it's a shame which the cruise control buttons are fiddly. Mounted around the wheel, they're significantly less easy make use of as other offerings on the Volkswagen Group and require some getting used to. There's also no audio mute button around the corner, something different that other Volkswagen Group brands haven't any trouble integrating. Volkswagen's active info display is available about the Tiggin Allspace and replaces regular dials having a 12.3 inch TFT screen effective at displaying customizable information screens, for example maps or audio information. The graphics are sharp. Even so the system lags behind Audi's virtual cockpit system for user friendliness. Largely high quality materials. Around 90% with the materials inside TIG and all spaces interior feel soft for the touch and expensive, with liberal uses of high quality plastics and brushed metal detailing. However, it is possible to some decidedly cheap filling materials on display with all the hard plastics round the central transmission tunnel essentially the most prominent. Decent Infotainment System VW's Discover Navigation Infotainment technique is fitted as standard to your TIG in all space, and boasts an 8.0-inch color touchscreen with touch-sensitive buttons on either side with the display. The graphics are sharp and nearly date, as well as the menus are all too easy to understand yet it could still be quicker to operate using a rotary knob style controller seen on, and others, Audis, BMWs and Mazdas. Pressing the best button within the, admittedly responsive, touchscreen remains a hot and miss operation. Ride quality good within the hole. Low degrees of road and wind noise. Just unfortunate about those noisy diesels. The Tiggin Allspace features a largely comfortable and well-sorted suspension setup and gains advantage from minimal quantities of road and wind noise. It's just unfortunate, then, that this diesel engine's being offered, especially typically the most popular 150 and 190 horsepower variants, are disappointingly noisy and unrefined. Good overall ride quality with an extended wheelbase as opposed to regular Tiggin, the Tiggin Allspace generates a slightly better ride quality with greater numbers of composure. It's more unlikely to get unsettled over an uneven little bit of road and digests the majority of lumps and bumps inside tarmac well. One of the main highlights is the place where it relates to high-speed roads or motorways. The damping is pliant enough to keep comfortable yet never feels wallowy or overly soft. Complementing this are hushed numbers of road and wind noise up there while using best in class. However, even around the relatively small 18-inch alloy wheels, we still detected a particular harshness for the ride over sharp bumps or potholes. Not the end on the world, but enough to face out against an otherwise well-sorted ride. Dynamic chassis control DCC can be obtained as an option and provide the driver an option between sport or comfort suspension modes. 
each setting does create a noticeable difference, although we're yet to use DCC on UK roads back to back up against the standard suspension. Noisy diesel engines both the 150 and 190 horsepower 2.0 liter TDI diesel engines produce an abundance of noise when driven out and about or when accelerating. Settle right into a cruise while using radio on and things do quieten down, nevertheless it's obvious that Volkswagen would need to work on insulating the sound from the diesel motors. Excellent array of standard equipment. Three available trim levels. All cars consist of Satanov and 3's own climate control. Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace SUV standard equipment. From launch, the Tiggin Allspace is provided with two trim levels, say nav and cell, foregoing the lesser S and say versions available around the regular Tiggin Sporty Reliant trim will likely be available to order from March 2018 with exact equipment levels for being confirmed soon. Included as standard with say nav spec cars is. 3's own climate control, a digital tailgate, automatic headlights and windscreen wipers, auto dimming rear view mirror. Discover navigation infotainment system, with the 8.0 inch color touch screen, Satanov, Bluetooth phone connectivity, DAB radio, speed limit sign recognition, USB connectivity X2, Oxen, CarNet Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility. Adaptive cruise control including autonomous emergency braking, driver fatigue detection, electronic parking brake, high beam assist and not on cell or reliant models, lane assist and back and front parking sensors. 18-inch Patagonia alloy wheels with self-zealing tires inside event of a puncture, silver anodized roof rails, halogen clear headlights, a cooled glove box, tray tables about the back from the front seats. Cloth seats, 40 colon 20 colon 40 split folding rear seats. On top or even in replacement on the standard equipment on say nav models, say L trim bags you. 19 inch alloy wheels, lead rear tail lights, dynamic light assist allows main beam for being left on without dazzling other drivers, lead headlights with lead daytime running lights. 12.3 inch active info display Volkswagen's version of Audi's virtual cockpit system, keyless entry, hence free boot opening allowing users to wave their foot underneath the rear bumper to open up the boot heated windscreen washer jets, heated front seats as well as a panoramic sunroof with LED ambient lighting. Lounge cloth upholstery with Art Valeur's micro fleece, front and back watching lights sex 2 on top or perhaps in replacement with the standard equipment on say nav models, Reliant trim gets you 20 inch alloy wheels, sports suspension and metal pedals Body colored rear roof spoiler, black front air intake and rear diffuser, Reliant styling pack including Reliant design back and front bumpers with C signature gloss black front air intakes Black wheel arch extensions and body colored side skirts with chrome trim, reline badging on front panels. Aluminium look decorative inserts and dash and door panels, black roof lining, leather trim 3 spoke multi function tire with aluminium inserts and reline logo. Race cloth upholstery with microfiber, front seats with reline logo on seat backrest, unique reline door sill protectors. Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace SUV Accessories If the Tiggin Allspace's generous standard kit levels aren't quite enough, then there's an extensive selection of optional extras available. Highlights include The outdoor pack for drivers who'll frequently get their Tiggin Allspace around the rough stuff. This includes an off-road front bumper, off-road chrome door sill protectors and other front underbody protection. Dynamic chassis control DCC adaptive suspension. Electric front seats with 12 way adjustment and massage function. Heated outer rear seats sold as part with the winter pack and Vienna leather upholstery. 
Discover Navigation Pro which has a larger 9.2-inch touchscreen, voice-activated control system, gesture control control functions including volume and track selection with gestures and wireless smartphone charger. Dyn Audio Excite upgraded audio system with 9 speakers, 400 watt output, subwoofer and Dolby Pro Logic multi-channel surround sound systems. Head up display, area view with park assist providing a 360 degree view with the car when parking, plus assisted steering to guide your vehicle into a space. Trailer assist automatically controls reverse guidance of vehicle and trailer, tow bar fixed or detachable. A range of alloy wheels and paint colors. No official Euro and cap safety rating yet. Regular Tegan score the total 5 stars. Only 2 ice fix points. Being children car the Volkswagen Tegan Allspace comes through an excellent variety of standard safety equipment, including multiple airbags, adaptive cruise control and autonomous emergency braking. Although the Tegan Allspace is yet for being tested by Euro and Cap, a normal Tegan what is the best it is heavily based scores the total 5 stars with particular merit attached with its protection of adult occupants within the event of an accident. Child occupant effects were also impressive, scoring 80% in crash tests. Pedestrians will also be catered for with active bonnet mounts which lift the entire body panel up and away through the engine from the event of a frontal collision reducing their risk of harm. Side scan can be acquired as an optional extra, and adds lane departure warning with blind spot monitoring and traffic sign recognition aforementioned only available in conjunction while using Discover Navigation Pro infotainment system. How many ice fix baby car seats can I fit inside a Volkswagen Tiggin Allspace? Like the off the shelf Tiggin, there are two ice fix points for the outer rear seats. Disappointingly, for the seven seat family car, there's no substitute for have additional ice fix points within the passenger seat or third row seats. However, Fitting child seats should be a cinch on account of wide opening rear doors affording the consumer bags of space to utilize. Tons of space inside second and third row seats. Excellent cabin space for storing all round. Boot is large, although not quite as big because the Skoda Kodiaks. Excellent passenger space, providing that you're not inside the third row. There's a generous number of space in both top and second row seats from the Tiggin Allspace. Even those approximately 6 foot tall will do not have trouble th watching themselves when driving or to the passenger seat. In your second row of seats it's largely precisely the same story. Legroom is deeply impressive despite the presence of taller occupants using front while headroom is generous. There's space to stay three adults across the next row in relative comfort, too. However, we noted that with all the panoramic sunroof setup standard on cell models, those over six foot tall may suffer a touch claustrophobic using the headlining brushing resistant to the top of their heads. Unfortunately, space inside the third row of seats is acceptable when you're under five feet two inches but pretty poor otherwise even while using second row seats slid to their furthest setting. Climbing into the rearmost seats can be a task best suitable for children. Plenty of cabin safekeeping. No matter where you are within the Tiggin Allspace apart and the third row of seats, maybe, there's an effective amount of safekeeping within the cabin. Up front, there's large door pockets, a decent sized glove box central armrest and center console storage space. Another clever by using space is simply behind the gear lever, where foldable cup holders might be used if needed and then the bottom line is a way again to generate another storage cubby. Out back the doorway pockets are commodious, plus there's a duo of cup holders inside central armrest. Fold away tray tables with additional cup holders are another useful feature for families. 
as is also the 12 volt adapter, USB plug, and climate control inside the rear. Finally, cars fitted minus the panoramic sunroof gain from two additional storage spaces from the roof. Every TIG and Allspace provides standard operating round parking sensors, complemented by way of a visual display within the car's infotainment screen. This, paired while using impressively small blind spots means it's a lot quicker to maneuver than its 4.7 meter length indicate. As an optional aid, area view displays a 360 degree exterior view from the car for the main touch screen allowing the driver to view where they can be relative to your curb and also other objects they'd ordinarily have trouble seeing. Park Assist, which controls the steering to help parallel or bay parking, is an additional optional extra and may be chosen together with area view or perhaps a rear view camera. Folding the next and third or merely the third row of seats down liberates lots of space for carrying dogs or making trips to try and do the rubbish tip. With all seven seats upright there's still a usable 230 liters, evidently this isn't quite as much as within the Skoda Kodiak. Handily, there's a place within the boot floor to keep the rear parcel shelf however the whole create does look slightly messy while using third row of seats folded down. 40 hours 20 minutes 40 seconds split folding second row seats really are a plus for flexibility out of the box their ability to slide forwards and backwards. Is it simple to convert both to and from 7 seat mode? You need a little little bit of upper body strength, however it's an easy process without complex levers or switches to fiddle around with. To erect the next row, simply take off the parcel shelf if it's set up and pull the strap on each one seat until they're all upright. Folding them down again is only a case of flicking a lever about the back on the seat and simultaneously pushing everything forwards.